Hey everyone, today we're going to be adding some files to Xcode 8, which is very similar to how we did it with Xcode 6. We're going to be doing this in a C++ project, and it should be pretty simple. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and select Command Line Tool Project. Go ahead and hit Next. That's an example. Give it a name. Add files to CPP project. Go ahead and create our project. And there we go. So now we have our, our project here. And if we run it, if I double click on that, it'll bring it up. And if we run it here, we should get just a simple hello world. There we go. Okay. So there's a few ways to define classes. Um, the easiest way is just to add uh, a header and CPP file for it. Um, so we can do that just by, you know, adding a couple new files here. Just uh, we're gonna go C plus plus file. We'll add a header file as well. So uh, go ahead and hit next. So my class. And I'll go ahead and add in there to the project. Okay, so we now we have our both of our pieces in here. And so we can just create our class now. So now we can just add some a little bit of code here to define the class itself in the header file. So let's go ahead and do a class and keep the same name, my class, uh, and then define some attributes for it. So we're gonna keep this pretty consistent the last one. So int my attribute uh, and then call it give it a constructor and then we can give it a deconstructor and then we can give it a function here now we would probably call some of these as public or something like that and then maybe private so uh, void some function and we don't want it to do anything and then private I'm gonna do this as void some private function okay and so now we've got our class pretty well defined in our header file I'll give it a little space right there make it easy and so now what we need to do is add the same or implement the same functions now that they've been defined or declared in the header file we need to go ahead and put them in the uh, my class CPP right here so notice I haven't done anything inside the main yet we're just chilling over here so now in our uh, CPP file, since it's been declared and added in here, we can go ahead and start to implement some of these. So if we just do uh, void my class, make sure you have that namespace in there, and some function. We can just tab complete it and put it in here. And uh, we'll have it output something, so we'll need to go ahead and include uh, something like, we can just copy it from the main file if we want. And then go ahead here and be like, okay, some function was called. So that'll that'll go ahead and implement that one there. We don't need to do anything with the attribute at all, and we can define this one as well um, and we can also can define the constructors and the deconstructor if we want to but they're actually optional if they're not um, if we're not doing anything they're just kind of default so in fact we probably don't need to declare them at all but we'll do it anyway um, so we can go void my class and just tab to complete there as well some private function and then we can do something as well this and what we can do with this is say uh, some private function was called. And actually what I need to do is uh, call it from here. So I can do this and call some private function. And so this particular one will call this in the class here. And so we just added a couple of files here. So now what we'll do is after, uh, what we'll do in here now after hello world, go ahead and include our um, I'm sorry well after IO stream we need to include our .h file so include my class .hpp and it doesn't really matter if it's .h or .hpp 
it's kind of uh, the new convention for C++. Um, and just do my class, and we need to call it, give it a pointer. Uh, and go ahead and there. So we've created a new instance of the object. So CX code gives us a little warning here. It says on each variable, what we can do now is do uh, my class and then do some function and call it like that. Okay. So, oh, doesn't like it because I'm using dot notation there. And so now when I run, we should see it call the regular function and then the uh, private function. And just ending here. Let's go ahead and run it. Build failed. Oh, no. Uh, my class is referenced. Uh, I don't think we actually declared it. Yep, that's right. If we had done this, I believe it should run fine. Hmm, okay. Go ahead and declare it. So back to our piece here. We just do uh, create our, our constructor. And we can, if we want to, we can just put something in there. Say constructor has run. I think that's the difference between uh, HPP and not. And then we can also define the deconstructor if we want to. And this actually won't run because we're going to destroy it. Okay. Build succeeded. And let's see here. Uh, we don't have any new lines on these guys, so we can actually add them and make that look a little bit prettier. All right. So with this, run it now. It's going to go back and we can trace through this a little bit. Uh, we create our class object, which we added to these HPP and, HPCP and CPP files. So we created our class. We defined, uh, defined it here. We implemented it over here. And then it does it. So just walking through here, it goes to the Hello World. Create our class object. The class is referenced here with this uh, include file. Um, we call it a function here, and then we end it. When we call this function here, you can see that the, during the constructor ran, um, we defined it and it says constructor the run. Then we called some functions. So let's hop over here. And that's when this line was run was, was some function was called. And then it called some private function that we could not access from main CPP. So we can't access that at all. And if you guys want to see that, it's my class. And so we can't really call that. Oh, well, at least the IDE Xcode is telling us that we can't call. But if we do try to call it, it should throw an error when our runtime. Oh, at least that compilation. Yeah, some private function, private member of my class, you can't call it. So, okay. So that's awesome. But what if we really need to add a few files here that weren't part of the project? Um, that can be a little bit more fun. And so I've got actually a couple of other files here. Um, and these are just regular H and uh, CPP files. And what we can do is you can uh, select them. I can hit uh, Command A, and I can drag them into the project like this. So I want to copy them in there, copy if needed. If not, there'll be a reference, and we want to add them to the targets. So go ahead and hit Finish. Now we've added all those files there. So we can see that all these files, we created these a long time ago, like uh, 2014. So we've added this, and what this is is basically is a small, small car and engine type uh, implementation. So we've got a couple of things like doors in here. Let's just kind of walk through this a little bit. We got a car, and a car has an engine on it. Um, so it's a different class. So we've caught, we've have the engine reference inside car h right here. So in our private variables, uh, we have string manufacturer, the number of doors, number of e uh, wheels, the pointer to the engine object. So when we actually uh, create the car, we need to pass it an object uh, with engine. So we'll need to create that as well. So, okay. And then we've got some setters and getters, which is like set the 
door set the manufacturer set the number of doors set the number of wheels set the engine we don't really need i don't really like having setters and getters but for the sake of uh the tutorial will create them okay we have our deconstructor so let's take a look at the implementation real quick uh the deconstructor doesn't really do anything we could try to we could delete the uh engine it's actually not a bad idea at this point we could release it um but for the constructor part we're just assigning the variables passed into it uh, the setters are just assigning the variables same very similar to the constructor uh, the getters are just returning the variables as well so we can yeah it doesn't really matter we'll get the idea here if we take a look quick look at the engine class uh, in the declaration here in the h file uh, we've got um, cylinders, horsepower, liters, miles per gallon. Those are really the attributes of it. And we pass all those the same when we can have the constructor. This one has an overloaded constructor, which has a blank one. And we've got one with the past one. So we'll have to uh, implement that twice. Then we have some normal setters and getters here. So let's take a look at the CPP and the implementation of it. This is the blank one is just a normal constructor. It doesn't do anything. It's not actually setting any of the attributes. The ones that's passing the attributes in uh, is actually setting them. But if we wanted to, we could just do this uh, num cylinders and set it to like a default value if we wanted to. And okay, we have the deconstructor. It's not doing anything. And the setters and getters. So now that we have that, we want to be able to create our engine and our car. Um, and we'll go ahead and do that by go ahead and including them. So include. Um, if you want to, you can go ahead and build the project. Let's make sure it still runs. It's always kind of fun. See if any of the code that you imported uh, through in a compile time error. It shouldn't. Uh, include. Let's go engine. Dot h. And include car dot h. You can run it too again, have fun with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our engine. So, engine pointer to it, uh, I call it Chevy engine equals new engine. And we're going to pass a few uh, pieces in here. I think we're going to get number of cylinders, liters, everything like that. I believe there's four parameters with it. Um, just double check here. Yeah, they're all um, integers except for that one there. We can, jeez, look at this. What were we doing a few years ago? Just horrific. Okay, so um, it's the same one there. Must have been a copy and paste type thing. Okay, so if we go back to our main, we can go ahead and pass 4.0, and then I'll create our engine itself. So if we do something like this now it's like liters should be able to say Chevy engine and we have arrow get liters and we do NDL or it's new library NDL to end line there and that should create our engine object and then uh, go ahead and retrieve the float value of 4.0 for get liters and print it. There we go. It says liters is three. Uh oh. Why is it saying liters is three? Let's take a look at our. Oh, those are both floats. So floats is here, miles per gallon is here. Um, so we can go back. That's just a little error there. So we should, we'll get that just fine. Okay. So we were right. We just weren't reading it right here. Okay. So it is supposed to be 3.0 or 3. All right. So now let's go ahead and create our car class. Car star. Uh, we'll just call this Chevy. I'm not. A fan of Chevy's, but it's kind of short to write. Maybe I guess it'd be easier to do BMW. And go car. Uh, and we'll create the new car. Um, and if we take a look at our header file there, it's the manufacturer, which is a string. 
the number of door, number of wheels, and then the uh, pointer to the engine object. So I'll go ahead and call this totally not Chevy. Uh, number of doors two, number of wheels. It'd be kind of fun if it was a three wheel one. And then since we have to pass in our uh, engine uh, pointer, we'll go ahead and do Chevy engine, tab to complete. And now that we've added it in there. So now we should be able to do Chevy dot, uh, it's like get engine, and that will retrieve the engine pointer itself. We should be able to get get number of doors, get manufacturer, so string equals manufacturer, and then do something similar as we did over here. And just have Chevy. Oh, we don't want that. We just want manufacturer. So I'll print that out. Or we can get the engine back from it and create a new pointer to it. So we'll do something like um, okay. I'm going to do get engine. Okay, so now we got a reference to the engine object. My engine. And then we should be able to do uh, menu back. Don't want two of those. Let's, let's go MPG to my engine pointer reference the uh, get miles per gallon and then we should be good so that should give us everything we need to do that miles per gallon for all right excellent so in this little brief tutorial what we've done is we've created our own class and added it to main that was just my class there uh, we've added the engine we've added a car which were classes from a different project um, that are fine. Uh, we have a mix of HPP and H files for this, and they all compile fine. Anyway, um, let me know if this is helpful or not. Go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, we'll go ahead and post the code on GitHub. If you want to take a look at the description, you can copy it yourself and play with it a little bit as well. And we're running on what version of Xcode? It's 8.3.3, uh, um, which should work. These basic projects work really easy. Anyway, have fun, guys. Uh, let us know what you think.